Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about Venn diagrams. Okay. So, what is Venn diagram student? The most of the relationships between sets can be represented with the help of a Venn diagram. Okay. So let's say this is a universal set U and there are two sets or you can say there is a one set let's say initially which is named as A and it is having elements 2, 3, 4 and the universal set having 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay so out of 1 to 10 these three sets uh, three elements 2 3 4 belongs to a so this is how we can represent a venn diagram okay so the diagram which is shown like in rectangle is always represent universal set and in circle it is a particular set whether it is A set B so the elements of any set are represented in a circle which the contained by these sets okay now let's discuss about some operations on sets the first operation on sets is operation on sets okay so the first operation is union okay the union a and b is the set let me first write the definition of the union the union of a and B is the set which contains or which consists all the elements of A and all elements of B and the common elements being taken only and common elements being taken only once okay so this is about union so how we can represent union is by symbol U okay so let me give you one example let us suppose a set given to as 1 2 3 4 and a set b given as 3 4 5 6 so a union b will be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 set of all the elements of a means here and all the elements of b and common part only once so this you can also represent using Venn diagram also students so let's suppose 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 so this is set A and this is set B so this whole structure the shaded portion which I have shaded here is the A union B portion ok students now let's discuss about some properties of union so students now we will discuss about some properties based on union first is a union b is equals to b union a which is also called as commutative law okay meaning commutative law okay a union b is equals b union a 
and a union b union c is equals to a union b union c it is associative law third one is a union phi means the union of a, any set a with phi always gives a identity law of identity fourth one is a union a also gives a item potent law okay so this you can prove these laws by taking any set a and having elements 1 2 3 4 okay universal of a union universal union a will give you u so it is called as law of u or you can say law of universe okay students so this is all about operation of sets like union and in the next lecture student we will discuss what is intersection and the properties of intersections and difference of sets okay so stay tuned for next lecture on intersection and difference of sets thank you happy learning